I'd always assumed that the lighter the yarn weight of a project, the cheaper it would generally be. But is that actually true, or is that an assumption? I'm going to look at three similar sweaters and price them out in five different yarns. And let's see. So this all started when I was shopping for yarn for my people sweater. I realized that Derrera Natura makes the same really beautiful non-superwash merino in the fingering weight version, called Ulysse, in the worsted weight version, Gilliet, and in a chunky version, Cyrano. Now an interesting thing about this yarn is that it's semi-woolen spun. Usually a yarn is either woolen spun, meaning the fibers are all over the place, which when spun makes for a lofty, airy yarn. A worsted spun is carded so that the fibers lay flat and kind of nestle into each other, cozying up, producing a yarn that's round and smooth. Semi-woolen spun, I guess that's somewhere in the middle. I have no idea how they do it, but I think it's kind of cool that they do. Since I'm going ahead and doing this, I figured I'd also add Cascade to the mix. Cascade 220, the same Peruvian Highland wool, comes in both a fingering weight and a worsted weight. So that'll be good to add to the mix. And finally, the most popular quote-unquote budget yarn in the United States. Is it as budget as we think? Let's find out. For the purposes of averages, I'm using a size 5, which is the middle of a 1 to 9 sizing scale. Now, I was completely unable to find a normal gauge basic raglan with reasonable yard estimates, so I've gone ahead and chosen the Forager Light as our fingering weight sweater. The cabling detail gives it a slight disadvantage, if anything. So the Forager Light by Isabel Kramer. And in size 5, that's going to need 1534. The camp pullover will be our worsted weight sample, and it's going to need 1350 yards. And the Winston will be our chunky, bunky, <laughs> chunky, bulky, what have you. <laughs> and it will need 501 yards. Exactly, apparently. <laughs> 501. So let's go ahead and do some math. A forager in Ulysses. We'll need seven balls of yarn, which makes it a total of 53 euro 20. The camp will need five balls of Gilliet, pricing it out at 66 euro. And the Winston in Cyrano, with its 501 yards, now you'd have a choice to make, because it'll take 3.05 balls. Do you think you can get away with three, or must you have four? If you are feeling brave, it'll only cost you 39 euro. Which totally blew my mind. I was expecting it to be more expensive, not the cheapest of the three. For the gauge at which you can knit it to, I think it's pretty generous because it's that more woolen spun, and that probably makes a bigger difference as you get bigger. But otherwise, the other two behaved about what I thought, that it was a little bit more expensive to knit with a worsted weight yarn. Cascade 220, the fingering weight version, and apologies, I am not translating this to euros. They're pretty close, so you're just gonna get a good general idea. The Cascade 220 fingering weight sweater would need six balls of yarn, making it a total of 33 US dollars Plus tax, because we don't include that over here, but they do in Europe. The camp sweater, our worsted weight, will require 6.13 balls of Cascade 220, making it a little bit heavier at 77 US dollars. Could you probably get it to 66 if you were a little short on the sleeves? You absolutely could. Nonetheless, this is what I was expecting in terms of price. The next bit, I really wasn't. This surprised the snot out of me. Woolies, at 87 yards a ball, at 10.99 US dollars a ball, to make the Winston sweater needs six balls of yarn, making this a total of $65.94 plus tax, making it 
possibly the most expensive version of all of them. I really did not know this going in. This is surpri this surprised me as much as it's hopefully going to surprise you. Yes, you can get coupons, and maybe that makes a bigger difference than I expect, but that's bonkers. That 80% acrylic, 20% wool sweater, exact same pattern, double the price of a non-superwash merino. So, maybe the important lesson to come out of this in is... Are your assumptions about yarn and prices correct? Because if you thought Lion Brand was going to be the cheapest, turns out not so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. I found this chick when I was going through and trying to find patterns. I'd never seen her before. Look at the color work on this. Can you believe it? How beautiful, like really, really, really beautiful designs. I kind of want to knit this like a lot, like tomorrow, but I'm not because I'm going to knit the people, but you know I really want to knit that like tomorrow. Anyway, check her out. Her name is Jennifer Beal and she seems really freaking cool. All right.